Hi, this is Curtis Alexander. In today's video, I'm going to touch on the drug leflunamide. And leflunamide also goes by the brand name Areva. Um, you're not going to see it that way a lot, but it's another name for it. Mostly it's leflunamide. So I want to give you the basics because it is used a lot, especially in rheumatoid arthritis. You can use it in adults. You can also use it in kids who have arthritis, which is a thing. The thing I would say about leflunamide, if you have arthritis, generally what your doctor is going to do, if they're going to start therapy, it's probably going to start with methotrexate, which is kind of, I've done other videos on methotrexate. It's kind of the gold standard in arthritis. Now we do have folks that either don't respond well to methotrexate or wouldn't be good choices. So leflunamide tends to be one of the drugs that they look to next. So in my opinion, it's a secondary choice. It's probably not where your doctor is going to start. Now, if you do it, there's a couple of different ways that your doctor can start the medication. One is with a loading dose. Now, leflunamide, I believe, comes in a 10 and a 20 milligram tablet. What some doctors will have you do is start out with 100 milligrams a day for three days and then drop you down to the maintenance dose, which is usually 20 milligrams a day, unless you're using it with some other drugs, the dose may be lower for maintenance. But I point out the loading dose because personally, uh, not a fan of it. The, when you give somebody that loading dose, they tend to have more side effects. They don't tolerate it as well. And really, there doesn't. I don't see a lot of benefit from doing it. It's not like you're going to get to levels that much faster, blood levels in the body. So some doctors will do it personally. Um, I just prefer to start people out on a regular maintenance dose. Now, SEs are side effects. What can you expect if you take leflunamide? There's actually, um, if there's a knock against this class of drugs and leflunamide is that there are side effects and they tend to, they tend to happen at a pretty decent rate. So the first one would be diarrhea. Um, anywhere from maybe 15 to maybe 25 or 30 people out of every 100 people who take it uh, can experience diarrhea. So it's fairly fairly high number. The next one is alopecia. I don't know why I'm doing all these videos on hair loss. They tend to hit home, I guess. But So alopecia is hair loss, baldness, basically. Um, you can see that anywhere from 10 to 17%, 10 to 20% at the high end. So um, this is particularly concerning. Uh, I get a lot of concern from women in this regard because I've seen it happen with leflunamide. So something to keep in mind, if you notice thinning of the hair, it's, it's a simple matter of talking to your doctor and you're gonna to switch to something else. Um, and it usually grows back. The last major one I would say is headache. This is again, uh, seven to 15% of the folks who take this um, can get a headache with it. So again, diarrhea, baldness, or, or hair thinning, hair loss, and headaches are your big three side effects with leflunamide. Um, when anytime you start, if you have arthritis, one of the first things your doctor is gonna do is start drawing your labs. And leflunamide is no exception. All these drugs in this class need to be monitored because there can be um, liver uh, enzymes that can go wonky. So they're gonna to wanna to keep a pretty close eye on that. How about people who cannot take leflunamide? Obviously pregnancy, it's a no-no. So if you're a, a female of childbearing age or you could become pregnant and you're not using birth control, you wanna make sure the doctor does a pregnancy test prior to starting it. And again, we go back to, if you have any sort of liver disease, um, probably not the best choice or depending on your severity, the doctor is gonna keep a really, really close tab on your liver function. The last thing we wanna look at is interactions. Um, if you're taking any other drugs that can affect your liver, and there's a lot of them, a lot of drugs are metabolized in the liver and affect the liver enzymes. So I'm not gonna put a list on here, it's something you'd wanna ask your pharmacist, ask your doctor about. Also, anything that affects the immune system, leflunamide can lower your immune system. So anything else that you're taking or anything else that you're doing, I have some people who are big time runners and if they're going to run a half marathon or a marathon, that actually really 
can drop your immune system. So even little things like that, you want to keep a close eye on with leflunamide. So wrapping it up, my take on leflunamide, something I hope that, that you get from this video. It's generally not the first line therapy, but it is a good option if you have arthritis and particularly methotrexate isn't a good choice for you. There are a fair amount of side effects with it. Again, our big three, but it is a viable option. So um, please give me a thumbs up if this video was helpful. Let me know in the comments if you have other questions. I'm, I'm happy to, to chime in and answer them as best I can. And let me know if there's other videos you uh, need me to cover. So again, Curtis Alexander, appreciate you watching. Thanks.